that stretch there where you scored three times straight on three straight possessions, mm -hmm. just what did that kind of feel like for you as sort of that go-to guy in that situation? Um, it feels good. Uh, you know, we just figured out that he really could not stop me in that situation. So, you know, it's just three quick ones, three pretty easy ones for me as well. Uh, so, you know, it feels good. It feels good that coach has confidence in me to just run that and just run it again. Just a little different variations, just throwing it. It basically comes down to me throwing, you know, getting in the post. So it just felt really good. Is it right this? Then to start the second half, mm -hmm. they got it right to you. A double team came, and mm -hmm. you you dumped off to, mm -hmm. for a layup. I yeah, who made it? But just did you know the double was coming? Yeah, uh, it was a really good job by uh, Nojel actually. Uh, we talked about it at halftime. The the double from the baseline might be coming because um, we'd seen it in film a bunch where they did it. Um, so Nojel immediately, as soon as I got the ball, he was calling it out. So I just dump it off to him for an easy assist. That that first half stretch is there any extra importance that it comes in a moment when Edwards is on the bench for a little bit and. Mm -hmm. and you guys need to find a way to create that offense with, with that uh, one yeah definitely you know I was at the, at the on the bench at one point and you know Carson was there as well and you see kind of he's got like 16 points here like you know he's coming off the floor and you kind of a little scared what's going to happen then because you know everything has been focused so much on that guy like hey what's going to happen when he comes out for a little bit I think we adjusted really well to that done we started spreading that really well it's important to have balance it's important to have that presence inside with obviously what Carson can do as a mm -hmm. scorer in the backcourt and flying obviously but it's mm -hmm. important to have that presence down low that people have to respect too, just from a balance perspective as much as anything. I definitely think so, you know, kind of keeping the defense honest, you know, they can't just like be off of me like, like extremely far because, you know, if I get it, I'm, I'm a capable scorer down there as well, so, you know, it kind of keeps guys sinking in a little bit. And if I'm even more of a threat, they'll, they'll sink in even more, maybe even a little bit off their shooters, we can get them a little extra space there. What help you guys be impactful on the boards today, especially the offensive rebounding one? Uh, I mean, I feel we just been, it's been a trend this season. I feel we've been doing a really good job of it. We have guys that really want to fight for the rebound. You know, I feel like Evan Boudreaux did especially an amazing job today, just fighting hard and everybody else in the court just to get the rebound. And I think that fight is really showed. Are you rebounding better as a team than you guys thought maybe you would going into uh, the season? I don't really know. You know my expectation going into the season was that we were going to be a good rebounding team because I've you know, seen in practice like just how – Hard guys were fighting just to get boards, um, but it's you know definitely like I don't know how many defensive rebounds we got. We felt like we got like 30. So just every time it felt like we missed a shot, there was just somebody right there to go get it. If it was Grady or Aaron or Joe, we just have some you know great athletes and just even if some guys aren't the greatest athletes, they're still just willing to go fight somebody for a rebound. Obviously, Carson had a big game today. Mm -hmm. How was he able to be so impactful? Obviously, knowing that the other team, that's their first goal is to start to stop this guy. There's got to be a board, and he still got all his points. Those points there. <laughs> He's just that good. Uh, you know, we call it a big night. I think Carson is, you know, it's just any night at the office for Carson. Um, so he's, you know, he's just that good. Like another team is going to have a lot of trouble in stopping him. And he's even tonight, he's getting extra confident. You know, he's hitting those. If, as soon as he hits that deep three, I know this. Like, okay, this is when he's really going. And Nojo was in a situation last year where it wasn't always easy to build that confidence by getting those minutes and, and playing. What are you seeing from him right now just in terms of the confidence he exhibits on the floor and how that makes him better? I think he's really stepped up, you know, defensive end. He's, yesterday was, I mean, last year. Uh, last year he was, you know, he was there when he was needed. Um, he didn't play that much. You know, he was always there to step up on, like, an opposing guard. But this year he's kind of become, like, this, this kind of this leader of the floor almost in defense. You know, he's that guy picking him. He pulls and guard up like all the way up the other basket, and that fight that he shows all game really feel like inspires the rest of us to also work on defense. Did you notice the sequence where he came down to double the post mm -hmm. and then jump jump back out to block the three, mm -hmm. and then the three went to Davidson, Davidson put it back up, and missed, and he rebounded it. Did you happen to notice that sequence? <laughs> I did not. I mean, that sounds amazing. It was, <laughs> like, you know, it was in like five it was seconds. Impressive. It was a crazy hard worker. You know, we all like I feel like we all been doing a really good job working on defense, and you know, sequences like that just exemplify. It's so early in the season, but I mean, have you got essentially what the identity of this year's team is compared to last year's team? I mean, is it uh, you kind of figured out what, what you guys can have your hang your hand on most nights this year? Um, you know, we're still kind of figuring out. Uh, I feel like if if I want our identity, I just want to be a team that plays the hardest every single night. That's what I want our identity. A team that's going to crash the boards the hardest. It's going to play the best defense. I think that's going to be very important for us this year. Does what? it even phase you guys when Carson's pulling up from thirty anymore? No, no, no. He's making that. Easy. <laughs> yeah. He's, yeah. If he's doing that, he's probably yeah. there's a good chance he's making that. Like he's making that a very, I think he's shooting that in an efficient clip, which is scary for the other team. The last year, you guys got a little bit fortunate to be able to get Arizona in that last game mm -hmm. and, and kind of salvage that mm -hmm. trip a little bit. Is there some satisfaction just getting here and getting to the championship game and putting yourselves in a position like that? It feels yeah. good. It feels really good. You know, we're gonna have a very tough team. Uh, you know, Virginia Tech just 
played a really good game today as well. Um, so, you know, we're going to have to be ready for them just like we did Arizona. You know, we might have won two games, but it doesn't mean anything on Sunday.